Hello everyone, I'm Miguel Amaranto, a grade 11 student of the Rizal National Science High School. And today I'm here with you to talk about how to transform a general form of a parabola to a standard form or vice versa. So, without further ado, let's get started. For example, we have a parabola in standard form and its equation is quantity of x minus 1 squared is equal to 4 times the quantity of y minus 1. We all know that this is the standard form of the equation. So we're going to transform it to the general form. What's, what are the steps to do it? The first is expanding. We need to expand all terms. So in this case, we need to expand the square of a binomial and the equation 4 times the quantity of y minus 1. So we're going to square the binomial, square the first term, double the product of the first and the second, and squaring the last term. The next thing to do is distributing 4 to the equation, 4 times y and 4 times negative 1. So 4y minus 4. After expanding the equations, what we need to do is apply the addition principle of equality, or some calls it transposing. We need to transpose the right side to the left side. So how to do that? Oh, well, we're going to copy the first equation, then transpose. The signs would alternate. For example, positive would become negative, and the negative would become positive. So minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 0. But this isn't enough. We need to ar properly arrange the equation, add similar terms, and arrange them properly. So how to do that? Well, we need to arrange them properly from the highest degree to the lowest. So 2. Then the next one is x. 2x because it's only on the first degree. Then minus 4y plus 1 plus 4 is equal to 0. Lastly, we're going to add the like terms, the integers. So x squared minus 2x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0. So we have it. The general equation or the general form of the parabola with the standard equation of quantity of x minus 1 squared is equal to 4 times the quantity of y minus 1. So we're gonna do it vice versa. So what if our given is x squared minus 2x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0? We all know that it is a parabola in the general form and we need to transform it to the standard form. So how do we do that? First is, is the separation of variables. We need to separate the x's from the y's. So for example, x squared minus 2x is equal to, so we're gonna apply the addition principle of equality again. So we're gonna alter the signs. So 4y minus 5. After this is we're gonna do the completing the squares. Completing the squares is done if we need to simplify the expression. For example, x squared minus 2x. For completing the square, what we need to do is Divide the second term by 2. So two, negative 2 divided by 2 is w negative 1. And lastly, square the product of the product or the quotient that we got. So negative 1 squared is 1. Positive 1. 4y minus 5. In this case, after completing the squares, whatever integer was added into one side, we need to add it to the other side. So, plus 1. We're gonna add another one. Then we all know that this equation could be simplified as x minus 1 squared is equal to 4y minus negative 5 plus 1 is equal to negative 4. Then we're gonna simplify this because we all know that it could be factored. So, 4 times the quantity of y minus 1. Copy the left side, so x minus 1 squared is equal to 4 times the quantity of y minus 1. So we got it. We transformed the equation from the general form to the standard form. So let's have another example. This time, we have a parabola 
the general form of phi y squared plus 4x minus 2y plus 11 is equal to 0. We would notice that the variable with the highest degree is y. Why? Because the parabola could be opening to the left or to the right. So regardless of that, we still need to separate the variables. This time, we're gonna leave the y into the left side because it has the highest degree. y squared minus 2y is equal to, again, apply the addition principle of equality. Negative 4x minus 11. Then we're gonna factor this out. Even though the 2 is can't be divided completely by 3, we, need, we still need to factor it because we need to leave the equation with y squared. So, 3 times the quantity of y squared minus 2 thirds y. Then, we're gonna complete the square now. Again, to complete the square, divide the second term by 2. So, negative 2 thirds divided by 2 is 1 third, negative 1 third. To square it, negative 1 third squared is 1 ninth. 1 ninth. Then, negative 4x minus 11. Again, what we added here should be added there. But this time, we would add 1 third. Why 1 third? Because there is still 3 outside the equation. So 1 ninth times 3 is 1 third. So that's how we call it. Then this equation could be simplified as y minus 1 third squared times the quantity of I times 3, of course. Then negative 4x. Then we're going to add the like terms. So 11 is also negative 11 is also known as negative 33 over 3 plus 1 third. So regardless of that, we would have negative 32 over 3. So after that, we need to factor this out by 4. So negative 4 times quantity of x. So we're gonna remove this, the negative sign, because we already place it outside. Plus 32 divided by 4 is 8 thirds. Then we're gonna copy the left side. Y minus We all know that this is still not in the standard form. Why? Because there is a coefficient outside the binomial. So we're gonna divide both sides by 3. We're gonna cancel this out. y minus 1 third square is equal to negative 4 thirds x plus 8 thirds. So there we have it. We have the standard equation of the parabola. So, uh, I hope you guys learned something. I'll see you around. Bye.